Welcome to new Selfish OS podcast and this time around it's a little bit different. We know Selfish OS already from smartphones just like here my Xperia 10 Plus device or from tablets but what about computers? Of course there's the Selfish SDK so if you want to develop something it is simulating a smartphone or a tablet but what about running it natively on a laptop? I'm not the only one who th was thinking about this. Someone developed a SafeJS version and ported it for x86 underscore 64, so all 64-bit capable laptops with an Intel or AMD processor. So I've taken a look into it and I want to show you how you first make a bootable USB flash drive and then boot it up on your computer and take a look at the operating system. So let's get started. So after you downloaded the BZ2 archive, what you have to do is simply extract this archive. You can find the download link in the description below and you will get uh, the image file that you can see here. And the only thing you have to do is now flash it to your USB stick. You can use a tool like Etcher that I have here, for example, is available for Windows, for Linux, for Mac OS. You just have to choose the file, so the image file, plug your USB stick in make sure that all the data on the USB stick is backed up because the USB stick will be completely wiped uh, when it comes to data. Choose the right USB stick, not your hard disk in this case, and uh, then uh, click on uh, yeah, select up and flash. And then it will start flashing. It will ask maybe for your administrator password or the root password here in this case, and then it will start flashing. And yeah, after it is uh, finished, you can use the USB stick to boot your system. To boot it up, just like on any other Linux distribution, you put in the USB stick and hit the appropriate button for uh, booting up from the USB stick. And as you can see here, you have two options, Savage X86 AMD64 0.2 or the special version for the Asus Transformer Mini. So I try out the a normal version here. Let's see if it will boot up. Further on booting. It's a normal boot startup based upon Ubuntu 12, uh, 2004. And this is the underlying base of the Safe system for x86, uh, x86 underscore 64. And here you can see it's now booting up. And after a few seconds, it should boot up into the graphic user interface and we should have like the uh, Silica Selfish uh, Lipstick user interface, hopefully, where we can try out certain things. As this, I'm using this laptop here because this one has a touch screen. So we have the option to use some extra stuff and seems to be hanging. That's something. There we go. So we have the mouse cursor here and we have the SafeShares device already. And I have to enter some security code. And then the graphical user interface appears. And I'm using this here. Uh, let me make it the brightest. Okay. I'm using this laptop here because as you can see it has a touch screen. I can also use my mouse here to unlock it. The default password is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and you should be in your device here we go and now you can see i can use normally my touch screen here or i can use my mouse as well you can see the mouse is a bit i think it has some issues because it's like dragging all the time for some reason and even though i'm not doing anything it's like dragging all the time something so i probably will stick to using the touch screen and we have a terminal here, we have Storman installed. Let's see if we can uh, type stuff. Yeah, our keyboard is working fine. You can see it is safish as running on a kernel. Um, that Let me make it a bit bigger for you to see. Running on kernel 5.4.50. By the way, off, and now we can type in stuff in here. And yeah, so this is uh, this, I have the possibility to open up new other programs. You can see it comes pre-installed with a few programs here. And you can see me 
again uh, what will not work probably is the camera right now also I have my camera turned off I have a power switch for this actually to turn it off I have Storman to install stuff what probably will not work is the Yola store I would guess but we have like Podcatcher we have Web Pirate as well here installed uh, as a web browser as the default web browser is not working and doesn't come pre-installed as far as I can see so let's check this here of course we have to have Wi-Fi connection so let's see if I can connect to the internet here okay this getting my Wi-Fi signals and I can type in my super secret uh, password here to connect to my Wi-Fi and now I'm connected to Wi-Fi hopefully yes I'm connected and I have now the possibility to go to a website just like for example forum.selfishos.org I'm not sure if this will load in this you in this really really old cute WebKit uh, engine browser but in general you can use as you can see not pretty but uh, in general you can use a web browser here as well I would rather install my own web browser called WebCat but you can see applications are working it is pretty fast as you can see has to be fast on this powerful machine and I have the option to install all applications basically if all will work depends on stuff just like for example um, uh, gyroscope or uh, um, some other sensors that are definitely not in my laptop won't work here but I can search for webcat and install my own web browser without any issues as long as it is uh, available for x86 it should work Click install here and it will add this and install and of course I can go back here and do some other stuff uh, when I want to read more you can see it's pretty fine pretty fast touchscreen is working the only thing that is a bit cumbersome is the mouse as you can see here it is like uh, it's like always dragging for some reason uh, even though I'm not dragging so what I could of course try out is attaching I have a USB type C dongle and I could try attaching my uh, wireless mouse here that I have and see if this will improve my situation so wireless mouse attached you can see wireless mouse is moving that's the power of uh, Linux and yes so this one is better it's not always dragging stuff around only when I press the mouse button it's dragging around so probably the touchpad has like this uh, touch to um, tap to touch or something like this feature enabled by default anyway so the uh, I don't I cannot perform the gestures apparently with the mouse so I have to perform it I wonder, wonder if the keyboard is working and yeah now webcat is installed so here I can find it and I can use my webcat browser for browsing around for example to memo forum which would probably not work because they changed to oh, it's working okay and yeah I can browse around here you can see it is a bit slow because it's like using the USB stick here right now I'm not using my fastest USB stick so it's a bit slow here and in general I think the user interface is working uh, webcat I could recommend you as well because it has support for keyboard shortcuts so you can uh, use K for going to bookmarks for example back and forth and you can use some other things like L for reloading and uh, like R for reader mode and so on so there are some uh, nice little options here um, keep in mind this is like for testing purposes it's version 0 0.2 still though it is pretty powerful already you can see it has like the, the power uh, here of my laptop which is pretty accurate I would say not sure if it's working correctly so it has a uh, Bluetooth oh, I'm not sure if I can find Bluetooth devices here let's search for devices and let's turn my smartphone on I mean the Bluetooth on my smartphone to make it visible see if it was working 
yeah it's working as you can see so even bluetooth is working so it has a lot of potential i would say uh, and when it comes to like laptops with a touch screen to be usable especially if you want to test out programs you don't have to buy a safe address phone you can use just use your uh, tablet uh, your, your your laptop with tablet functionality and touch screen to try out some applications and it's very very powerful and fast there's some bugs that need to be fixed like uh, the normal browser here i think has some issues loading some pages uh, loading it all i think okay now it allows me to uh, let's go to yola.com for example to see if it's working or not seems to be working but it's not i think yeah there's some cosmetic things like the mouse cursor which could be like beautified and uh, i think mouse cursor needs like this gesture support as well for people who don't have a touch screen that they can use you can see it's not working with this browser but yeah some known problems but still a pretty good effort i would say and what do you think should people work on a more laptop-based SafeSure-S version, optimized maybe for laptop usage, also for laptop touchscreen users, of course, if you want to, but maybe having like a traditional bar at the bottom that you can just click with your mouse on to do some actions. What do you think about this? I'd really like to know. You can write that down in the comment section if you tried it out on your a machine is it working on your machine do you have a touch screen to try out all those uh, great things here and uh, what would you optimize would you maybe are you a developer would you optimize your programs also for the usage on a desktop uh, write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye